When we're fabricating custom decor, we often need to use steel hardware that's galvanized or has a bright finished zinc plating that doesn't really match the look of our work. These are just some random parts we're going to use to demonstrate a technique that we often use to make sort of an antique black oxide look. In order to refinish the hardware, we first need to remove all coatings down to bare steel. Muriatic acid is actually a diluted hydrochloric acid solution that is commonly sold at hardware stores for etching concrete or for lowering the pH of swimming pools. Muriatic acid will not corrode glass, PVC, or HDPE plastic, so any of these will work as containers. We often dilute the acid further with water by as much as 50% especially if we need a larger volume to cover our parts. Here, we're using a full concentration, which will make quick work of these. It should only take about 30 minutes to remove everything from the surface. Remember to always add acid to water, never add water to acid. This is so that you lower the pH slowly and reduce the risk of splashing full concentration acid out of your container. After the parts are rinsed clean with water and dried, we can create a layer of black iron oxide on the surface using gun bluing solution. It only takes about a minute to finish reacting and then we can rinse again. A thin layer of orange rust will quickly begin to form on top of the black oxide as it dries. A Scotch-Brite pad or steel wool will easily remove the rust and bring back some of the shine of the metal. The remaining oxide is inert and will have some resistance to rusting. The gun bluing process also leaves micro pits in the surface of the steel that will help it to hold a light oil or wax coating, giving it additional resistance to rust.